How's it going everybody? My name is Absalom and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about a brand new glitch in Modern Warfare. With this glitch, you'll be able to skip the plane ride entirely plus the time it takes to parachute down to the ground. Now to some that might not mean very much, but to be able to start the game already on the ground is a pretty big deal. So how much time is it actually saving? Well, if you start in the plane and assuming you bail out immediately and then plummet to the ground just like Advanced Warfare did, then it will take about 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds you could be looting, starting contracts, or I don't know, maybe spray painting a room with your favorite tags. So whatever it is, this glitch is going to give you a big head start on everyone else. Not only that, but you'll get to spawn inside of a vehicle of your choosing at the start of the game. Now with the recon strat getting more and more popular, my team has been using this glitch to start a recon contract as soon as possible to get a head start on everyone else. So what is this glitch and how does it work? Well, first off, I want to thank Silent9 for finding this glitch and letting my team know so that we were able to test this and get more data worked out. I have a link down below to his channel and I definitely recommend checking it out. Now, basically this glitch will let you pick any vehicle in the pre-game lobby and then be able to spawn in that vehicle instead of riding the plane and parachuting down. So let's get into how it works. Before you get started, let me give you a fair warning that this glitch is slightly more difficult to pull off as opposed to other glitches. It took me several tries in order to get it for the first time, however once I did get it I am now able to complete this pretty consistently. So don't get discouraged if you aren't able to get this right away. So what you have to do is go into any game mode you want and during the pregame lobby find a vehicle. You're going to need to keep your vehicle safe so during the pregame if you need to move it in order to do so then you can do that at this time. Whichever vehicle you choose will be the one that you're going to spawn in. So you can choose any vehicle you want as long as it's not the cargo truck. I'll explain later as to why you don't want to use this vehicle. So once you secure a vehicle, all you have to do now is stand next to it until the countdown is almost over. When the countdown reaches the last few seconds, you need to spam X, square, or whatever button it is that you use to get into the vehicle. You need to keep spamming this button until you see the screen mess up just like this. Once you see that screen, then you can stop spamming the button, and now you'll be teleported back to your vehicle. This will allow you to skip the plane and the parachuting altogether. However, once you're on the ground, this isn't over. You're going to be stuck in a very strange third person view right away, so in order to fix this, you'll need to get into the vehicle two more times to get back to first person. Once you're back to first person, you are now free to do whatever, but it is very important that you are inside your vehicle when the plane population number hits zero. After that, you're going to hear a falling sound and your player will be invisible. If this happens to you, then you need to switch seats in your vehicle until you are back in the driver's seat. Once you're back in that seat, you are now officially able to do whatever you want. If you're in solos, then you most likely won't have to switch seats, however, it's always good to know in case any update changes this in any way. So getting back to the cargo truck and why that's not a good idea, this is because you can't switch seats in that vehicle, so the game will actually down you as soon as you get out of the vehicle. Now, that's a basic rundown of this glitch. However, I've taken the time to figure out a method to make this a little bit easier because, like I mentioned earlier, this glitch isn't very easy. To get started, you need to go into your settings and change the use reload behavior to be on contextual tap. This will allow you to get into the vehicle quicker and at the moment it's necessary for this glitch to work. So with that out of the way, let's go over the first part where you have to spam the button to get into the vehicle. I've noticed that it's a little bit different timing for each of the vehicles. So let's go over the pace at which you need to spam the button. So to make things easier, I've got this diagram synced up to how fast I push the button in real life. I hope that this diagram makes things a little bit easier and for your convenience, I've timestamped this part of the video in case you need to practice the pace later on. The speed for spamming this button is gonna be the same for each vehicle. So moving on, let's now talk about the timing. Each vehicle has a slightly different time to start spamming the button. To be clear, I'm referring to the pre-game lobby clock that counts down. Starting off with the TAC Rover, you're going to want to start spamming the button halfway between the 5 and 4 second mark. This has seemed to work for most of my teammates, and again, you're going to want to keep spamming the button all the way until the screen starts to glitch out. Now moving on to the ATV, you're going to want to start spamming right before the number 4 shows up. This one is a little bit tricky, however, once you get it, it gets a lot easier. Now going on to the SUV. This one is very similar to the ATV, however it's usually able to work when you start right before the 4 pops up. Again, this will take a little bit of practice. Now moving on to the final vehicle, which is the helicopter. For this one, you need to start right after the number 4 pops up. So to be clear, you want to let the 4 pop up and then hesitate just barely and then start spamming. Okay, so that's the individual timing and pace to spam the button in order to make this glitch a little bit easier. And with all of that, you should now have everything you need to practice this glitch. I also want to mention that you can do this in Battle Royale and Battle Royale solos as well as even in Plunder, but the only downside to doing it in solos is that you won't have helicopters unless they decide to put them back in that game. 
Besides showing you how this glitch works, I also thought it would be useful if I elaborated on some of the things that you can do. So in Battle Royale, you can have up to four people, which means that four people could theoretically glitch the game out and then they could start completing contracts. Our team was able to complete two recon contracts before some people even had weapons. We set our vehicles up near each other in the pregame, which allowed us to work together once we glitched it out. Also in Plunder, you can be looting houses for 30 to 50 seconds before anyone else has even landed. That could be a couple hundred thousand dollar difference. You could also use this to your advantage if you want to be the first person to land on a hot drop. You could park your vehicle ahead of time and then spawn there in order to be strategically waiting for all the skydivers to reach the ground. So there's several strategies that you could use now once you get this glitch mastered. If you have a cool strategy that this glitch lets you do, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I don't normally use glitches in games like this, but this one was pretty cool, and unlike some, it doesn't make you invincible or give you any serious leg up. Plus, it'll most likely be patched soon enough, so my best advice is just to enjoy it while it lasts. If anything changes for this glitch, I'll update the pinned comment. I'm focused pretty heavily on Warzone right now for any of the easter eggs and strategies. I'm also working on a few videos that have a few new easter egg items that have never been seen yet. So if that sort of thing interests you at all, then it would help me a lot if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this, then feel free to comment me and I'll do my best to respond. So that's everything for this video, and thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Absalom, and I hope to see you in my next video.